The longer that a religion or organization has been around, the more likely it has been corrupted and infiltrated by Satanists. The book The Lost Continent of Moo by James Churchward talks about Freemasonry being the first religion of humans and how it was a pure religion that worshipped the grand architect of our realm. Nowadays, we see that the upper ranks have been completely infiltrated and their brotherhood has been corrupted. The people at the bottom are really clueless as to what is going on at the top. This is the same situation with the Jewish religion and faith. It has been around a very long time and you bet your butt it has been corrupted. There are a lot of satanic teachings in these, the Talmud, the Jewish books, and that is for a reason. Most of these so-called Jews are actually Khazaris. They are Satanists, and they are transsexuals. They're not all the same, but these three groups have infiltrated into the Jewish religion. Their goal, well, one of their goals, is to have us all blame the Jews and not them. Just like in Freemasonry, the people at the bottom are clueless. They're just doing what they think is right and they aren't necessarily following all of the laws that are, you know, in the Talmud or they're not doing the things that the people at the top are doing because the people at the top of every one of the structures that Satan has set up are corrupt and doing Satan's bidding. The Jews are getting set up to be the fall guys for these Khazaris, the Satanists, the transsexuals who are actually the problem. Even Christianity has been infiltrated and the teachings that they teach in the Bible are not like the teachings that the real Christ taught. In the Bible we have Jesus eating fish and then we have the false Messiah Apostle Paul who says you can do whatever you want basically and comes and contradicts what Jesus said and contradicts the original teachings of the Christ. Yes, I'm aware that Jesus was not his real name. That's not the point, okay? Get over it. I usually call him the Christ because I'm not here to play about names, okay? The, the name is not what I'm focused on. If you, don't even under, if you don't even comprehend what the entity was about and their essence and their purity and their, their drive for righteousness, then I'm not going to sit here and argue about their name with you. It's more important to me for you to know that the Christ was a vegan, that he was a compassionate uh, towards the innocent, a humanitarian, and he was a rebel, not a pacifist, a rebel. There's a time for war and a time for peace, and when our skies are being sprayed, and when Satanists are corrupting things, and liars are running our world, it's not a time to wave the white flag, okay? Because they are predators, and we are their prey. They have convinced humans that humans are the most evolved and on the top of the food chain. Well, that is not true. The reptilians and the Nakash are far more advanced than humans, and they like to eat humans. Humans are being farmed like the cattle that they farm. And I've said before, they flip and deserve it. If you enslave others, then you deserve to be enslaved. It's just that simple. The Jews are being thrown under the bus, and it's time for people to realize what is really going on and blame the people that are actually the problem and not the people that have just fallen for, fallen prey to these predators and their infiltration efforts that have been very successful. Even the Bible talks about those that say they are Jews but lie. 
The Bible even shows us that the Christ keeps going against these religious teachers because they are not teaching appropriate teachings. They are teaching Satanism instead of the teachings of God. The low-level Jews, I'm not going to say all of them because I don't really know that everybody has a good heart, but they are in it to do the will of God and that's what they desire to do. And just like every race and religion and group of people and organization, they have been infiltrated and led astray. Don't let the Satanist, Khazari, and transsexuals who are trying to demonize the Jews and uh, send the Jews like sheep to their slaughter, the innocent ones at the bottom, they want to send these ones to their slaughter while they sit and are protected. They want to send the lower-level Freemasons off to slaughter while they sit and are protected. This is the same with every religion organization that has been infiltrated by these people. By these entities that are possessed. So please, don't blame the Jews and don't post their satanic teachings in my coven as some sort of try to prove that the Jews are bad. No, that just proves that the Jewish teachings have been corrupted by Satanists. So have Christianity. So has Freemasonry. So has every other religion or organization that has been around for a long time.